my signature, I would say, is of course color, but maybe it's the uh, combination of colors. It's actually more a tool to make an atmosphere. It's like a puzzle, everything fits together and you feel comfortable in the room, you feel inspired, you feel at home. So maybe I put a blue and a purple together with a yellow or a pink, but that's because it makes sense not to, you know, exaggerate anything, it just, just makes sense. Panton was very un-Nordic or not very Danish in his design language. He really pushed the button to do something different. I think it's really refreshing that we in Denmark have room for that, that we can try other things than oak and grey tones. And I really hope that I can carry that torch further on and show that we do other things than just what is expected. Trapphold Art and Design Museum is a young museum. It's located in south of Jutland. It's very modern. It's like this white cube and we have this outstanding view over Kolding Fjord. We are making this huge research-based exhibition called Werner Penton, The Good Taste of Well-Being. And it's an exhibition about Werner Penton and why he's still relevant today. It's curated in three themes, light and color, the body senses and creativity. So the exhibition is actually about Werner Penton's take on aesthetics and take on the function and also about how he thinks. Often I think a lot of what we call art or design is, is actually repetitions of uh, what was already there. So in that sense, creating the new is as much a part of my agenda as reflecting on something that was once uh, new. If you look at Panson's production of patterns, uh, he seemed to, at a point, have been doing a new pattern every week. So he was, in a sense, a classic avant-garde artist, driven, completely absorbed by his work, very eccentric. If you look at a series of pictures of his constantly evolving chair design, there are many. Then you see a constant experiment with, with forms. And this kind of interest in making with very basic forms, very basic structures, making something that would build up to, uh, to a much more complex articulation, that's very typical, I think, of Panton. What characterizes Louis Poulsen as a brand is our long heritage and legacy, which is a, a long tradition and a long history. So that's part of our uh, DNA, but it's also very much of uh, refining the way of working with light and design. Werner Penson would be experimenting with colors, he would be experimenting with form, but the form follows function is very clear and also the geometries or the balance and the way that he's working with proportion. Timelessness is where things make sense. It's a space where you combine old with new, because old furniture or lighting or whatever has its time in it, and when you put it together with our time, it, it creates something new. Anne Jacobsen, Børg Mogensen, Hans Jalvener, Paul Henningsen, they were focused on to be timeless. All the furniture and buildings and interiors, it should be timeless for them. But for Werner Panson, his main focus was to be in his own time. With this exhibition, we'll come all around Werner Panson and uh, find out if he's still relevant today and why he is. Design uh, has not reached uh, 
Panton's major proposition that design is an environment and any particular part of design, a chair, a panel, a lamp, is part of a larger environment. So when he talked about environments, as he did, where you should be able to change the interior of houses according to the mood of the people inside the house, then it was a vision, but not a vision beyond that. He wasn't into manifestos. He was a practical person that simply put his ideas into work.